Well, happy Labor Day, everybody. Labor Day 2018. Um, start with a shot of the backyard here. Thank God I don't have to mow it. That's uh, Battle Mountain right there. And all those other peaks in the background are pretty much in Colorado. That's how close I am to the border. And go back down around here. This is this is where I'm living right now. Um, I only get to stay up here till the 23rd. Yeah, I know, poor me. And I got to break the camp down because the wife needs the uh, tent for their feast of tabernacles. Um, not a lot. <clears throat> excuse me. Not a lot has changed uh, this year. It's pretty much the same elk camp, same tent. Um, well, I did get a new phone, so hopefully we won't have any stutters and stops and loss of audio on these videos. One thing I had last year that uh, I want to touch on that um, I didn't mention is this contraption right here. This is what's called a solar generator. Um... This one happens to be a Yeti. It's 150 watts. And as you can see, there's a uh, AC port. There's two USB ports and a 12 volt plug-in port. Um, it's great. Uh, you know, when you need to charge your equipment, you know, I've, I'm running a little 12 volt fan off of it when it gets hot. And so far it's, it's done real well. The only thing that I uh, recommend is that you buy an aftermarket solar panel. This one's a 50 watt and uh, you can get the connections for it or the connections actually do come with the uh, Goal Zero, the Yeti, um, to hook into a uh, regular solar panel. Goal Zero, they do sell uh, solar panels. You know, they're the fold-out kind, or you know, uh, they fold out and they fold back up, and they're nice and convenient, and compact. Unfortunately, they don't work worth a damn. Um, I was that's what I was using last year, and it, it it wouldn't keep up. It would charge all day long, and you still wouldn't uh, get a uh, another bar on your charger. So, definitely recommend. And you'll see that in reviews too. That's just not me. You see the reviews of those Goal Zero solar generators, and they said don't even mess with the solar panels that uh, Goal Zero sells. So, aftermarket solar panel. Uh, next thing I I did is that uh, I got a new shower enclosure. Yeah, we'll come back to that. That's cool. Last year, I was using this as my shower enclosure. I mean, and it worked, but it's really, you know, small. Um, not there's not a lot of room in there, and uh, so this year, that's my outhouse. That's my crappy A. Um, I got a three-legged stool in there. Uh, you know, one of those porta potty three-legged uh, jobs. And the other thing that I do, uh, of course, I dug a pit, and uh, that's where I set the uh, uh, the, the crapper over. Uh, also inside of there is a 40-pound uh, bag of Mason's lime, and what that's for is that it really cuts down on the smell. You can get Mason's lime at any building supply store. Uh, just keep it in there, do your business. And then just sprinkle a little bit of that lime on there into the pit, and uh, it, it, it pretty much eliminates the smell. Yeah, be careful about breathing that lime dust, though. It's not good for you at all. So, but anyway, that's the crapper now. It's no longer the shower. <clears throat> and this is my shower enclosure. I bought it off of Amazon, and I wasn't really paying attention when I bought it. I just saw it and I was like, hey, that's what I want. That's what I need right there. And then when I got it, 
uh, I realized it was an Ozark Trail. Now, anybody that's done any kind of shopping at Walmart in your outdoor section, that's pretty much the brand that Walmart carries, and I'm not real impressed. Um, I probably, even if I had noticed it was in an Ozark Trail, I probably would have bought it anyway. Uh, but, you know, I guess for the price, if it lasts a whole season, you know, I'll buy a new one next year. You know, that's, it's just the quality of it. But, you know, this one here, in all fairness, it seems to be uh, fairly decent. It's fairly rigid. Um, it's got a lot of tie-down points with the uh, guy lines and uh, stakes at the bottom. So, anyway, <clears throat> I saw it, I liked it, I bought it, and I'll deal with it. I'll take you inside here. As you can see, a lot more room in here. Uh, you can hang a towel up. There's a uh, organizer there behind the towel, and there's two organizer pockets down there. Now this design that you can set it up is like a two-room job. There's a divider that you can put in here, right here at this at this seam. And uh, well, I don't I don't need it, so I didn't even install it. A couple more pockets up towards the front. This is this is your changing room, is what they say, and then that's your shower. Um, what I like about it, it, it is enclosed. Um, even at the bottom there, that's you, you got your, your your where you stand to take your shower, and then uh, surrounding it is a mesh so that your water can drain out. Um, it's got two windows in it for ventilation and typical Ozark trail. It's not a solid roof. It's a, it's a mesh roof with a, uh, 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 oh, a fly, a roof fly cover. So when it gets colder out, which it will do here in a couple weeks, that's going to be an issue. So, no nighttime showers, definitely. Well, even now, no nighttime showers. It, you know, it's getting down into the 50s and whatnot. But uh, it, it's it's a pretty decent setup. Like I said, we'll see how long it lasts. Ozark Trail. So, go ahead and zip her back up. <clears throat> and this is my other recent addition. Uh, Last year I was doing the solar showers, you know, the black bag, set it in the sun, pray it gets at least warm. Uh, last year we had a lot of smoke from the wildfires so that, you know, we weren't getting a lot of uh, light from the, uh, from the sun, not as much as we could have or should have. And sometimes my bag got hot, sometimes it didn't. You know, laying it out here in the weeds. I got a couple of pinholes poked in it, and I'm just done dealing with that. Which, by the way, this enclosure comes with a, a, a solar shower as well. So, if you are just into that, well, you'll get a solar shower with that shower enclosure. But this is what I got going on this year. Uh, this is made by Zodi Outback Gear. Uh, extreme hot shower system and I've got my one pound propane bottle my refillable which I covered last year uh, one pound propane bottle and right now you can hear it hissing away getting ready to do dishes and uh, it'll it'll heat this full this holds about three gallons of water and it'll heat it in about half an hour and that one pound cylinder um, this actually, I put another one on. Uh, the other one was getting kind of empty, but I've d used it three times. And uh, it still had propane in it. But uh, since they're refillable, I didn't wait till it was absolutely empty to throw the bottle away. Um, I didn't want to try to change that out after everything was hot in there. And if I did run out of propane. So anyway, I, I have uh, heated three of these up on one and I still had propane. I might have had enough to do another one. Um, <clears throat> comes with a 
temperature gauge here on the side uh, for your comfort range 90 100 110 and this will change colors as the uh, water inside gets hot this is the shower hose assembly um, this is your end this does not control the water at all as far as on and off that's done by the butterfly valve there and anybody that's used to, it's basically like a, a well-built stainless steel bug sprayer or weed sprayer if anybody's used those this is the uh, this is the insert that you use to pump the pressure up um, you don't you don't have it in the container or in the tank while you're heating the water but this is you pump this up and uh, you know you shower away or in this case what I'm doing is that I am getting ready to do my dinner dishes from last night so once that gets hot I'll uh, I'll do my dishes up you'll see my dirty dishes inside the tent same tent same setup uh, a couple things I did add to it this year or actually I got this last year after I made my videos this is uh, I got this out of uh, Home Depot and it's nice you know it's fairly well built you know it's it for for what it's intended for but this is my pantry as you can see I've got all the four food groups represented here was that sugar cream filling chocolate and cake the four food groups but uh I, I wanted to open my table up here there's my dirty dishes I wanted to open this table up and get some more room uh, to be able to do other things on this table so not having a cooktop on there has really helped out a lot so I got my cooktop on here and down below these zip up so that she can help keep the critters out um, and uh, it's actually really deep try to get this in frame Whoop, sorry it's really deep and so there's a lot of space in there and so far so good it's worked out pretty good uh, let's see the other thing I got I got this off of uh, Amazon it's uh, it, what it, what it's basically for is to uh, air dry like fruit and, and uh, if you make your own pemmican you know, uh, jerky and that's what it's really for but it works really great as a organizer uh, place to store smaller stuff and uh, that's worked out real well go inside the tent here the only thing that's changed this year same same uh, company disco beds but what I did do is that uh, I got the bigger set um, this is the extra large it's the same length uh, but it's about at least six maybe even eight inches wider than their normal uh, setup and that's good for me because I'm a sprawler when I sleep thanks to years in the Navy of having to sprawl out in your rack to keep me from being rolled or thrown out of your bed um, so last year my knees would hang off or hang on to the uh, the metal bars on the sides here and it was just uncomfortable um, so I got the extra large set this year and it's a lot better um, one thing I uh, I ordered our uh, I ordered these off of Home Depot uh, they're a memory foam um, this is a single so, uh, made for a single bed what well, it's made to be a mattress topper but it helps out with the comfort uh, what I really like about it is that uh, they're gray because they have charcoal in them as an odor absorber and I guess that's important anywhere but especially in hunt, uh, hunting camp where you're trying uh, archery hunting camp especially when you're trying to uh, be as uh, scent free as possible so 
it's got a uh, bamboo charcoal in it and I guess that's the greatest and lightest thing um, as far as odor absorbing and uh, so I've got one on the bottom bunk too um, this year I uh, I made these blocks here and what I did that the reason I did that is I wanted to elevate this bed up <clears throat> so that I can use the underbed storage a lot better and what I've done is I've got these uh, I think they're made sterilite um, underbed boxes and uh, that's why I'm storing a lot of my hunting clothes and whatnot in there uh, they're not airtight but they are covered so it helps keep down on the uh, scent getting in there and get keeping the moths out of them and whatnot let's see what what else what else what else I think that's about it everything else is pretty much the same I think I covered everything um, you know if I've been out of frame I apologize it's hard to see on the, the uh, phone screen but uh, I think that's it I did buy I bought three more of those uh, refillable propane bottles those one pounders um, because I've added to my equipment that uses them but also you know in the middle of the night you don't want to you know you're trying to cook or, or whatnot in the dark and then oh you ran out of propane and then you got to take the one bottle off that you're using and go <clears throat> excuse me and then go fill it so uh, I bought three more of those I actually got them off of Home Depot they were actually the cheapest I think they were like thirteen dollars and eighty cents a piece so I've got plenty of spares now uh, plus enough to run all my equipment and uh golly i think i think that's it so anyway thanks to uh, everybody that subscribed and <laughs> kind of shocked me i never expect anybody to subscribe i'm not trying to make money off of this i know a lot of people on youtube do but uh thank you subscribers people that's like my videos people that's commented i appreciate it uh even the ones that i've gone 10 rounds with because they didn't like what i was doing but anyway uh that's it um wish me luck it's like third day of hunting season I haven't seen anything yet of course it's hot during the day so hopefully once it cools down the critters will start moving and uh, just giving you some shots of where I'm at but anyway thank you thanks for watching the video and I uh, hope you had a great Labor Day weekend